Dan Perry here, and here is part 21 of our TCPIP basic series. The, uh, we're still looking at the OSI model layers, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the upper layers. Uh, we're going to examine uh, the presentation, pr application, and transport layers. Now, we're not going to discuss these layers in great detail uh, for our purposes in networking they uh, they really aren't something that we get into that much uh, programmers would work with these uh, layers much more extensively uh, we usually look at these layers together uh, one of the terms you'll see them those layers connected together are is called host layers and when you saw the TCP model uh, you noticed that all of those layers were grouped together. Now, the application layer is where we inter interact with uh, computer software. Uh, the application layer provides synchronized communications. It synchronizes the communications between the actual applications, such as Microsoft Word or your web browser, and the uh, data communications. Uh, it helps in determining resource availability so that when you tell it to save a file on a network drive, it will check to make sure that network drive is available, the proper mappings, uh, and provides the API or application program interfaces necessary for the application and the operating system to interact with your network. The presentation layer provides data formatting and this is not formatting such as how it will look on the screen. As an application wants to transmit or save data it will uh, provide the conversion from whatever format the application uses to the format needed for transmission. It will do encryption if necessary. It will encode it into the proper character sets and on the return, at the other end, it will decode, it will do any decryption, and convert the data back into a format necessary for the receiving machine. Now, don't confuse again the presentation layer with the way data is presented on your screens. Now, the session layer controls dialogue between computers. It will establish connections, uh, determine whether those connections will be full, half, full or half duplex, will be simplex. Simplex communication is one way. Half duplex is two way, but only one way at a time. Full duplex is both ways simultaneously. Uh, it also manages connections such as restarting a connection in, in case there's a termination that wasn't unexpected. And at the end of the session, it will terminate your connections. Next time, we're going to look at other layers in our network.